Bitcoin is back to the dollar twenty thousand zone after a short trip to the dollar twenty two thousand price level over the last week. This weekend, however, what weekend blues for the larger cryptocurrency market as the top cryptocurrency Bitcoin and certain altcoins saw a major pullback in terms of price. Bitcoin, Ethereum, and a few other major alts were back to their lower support levels, while certain altcoins like Monero, Chili, Zenave depicted decent gains on their daily and weekly price window. That's not all. Quite a few regulatory measures have been taken across the crypto map, and we shall look at that today in Voice of Crypto's Daily News Wrap. First, let's dive straight into how the crypto market looked like and what altcoins were gaining momentum and what altcoins were losing their track. Bitcoin, the top cryptocurrency, was up by 4% on its weekly chart, but was down by almost 3% on its 24-hour window. Looking at Bitcoin's price chart, we could see that on 8th July, there was cons a considerable uptick in terms of trade volumes. This happened because Bitcoin's price crossed over this dollar twenty-one two fifty resistance. Bitcoin's price going above this resistance can give a decent price uptick in the coming days. If Bitcoin's price is able to establish above the dollar twenty-one five hundred mark, we can expect a very good bullish momentum in the market. For now, however, we can see that on the daily chart, there are two constant red candles, which means that Bitcoin's price has been going down on the daily window. Bitcoin is back to the dollar 20,000 20, mark, from which a recovery has been crucial for over a month now. Moving on, let's see how the top gainers of the market were in the daily time frame. Chili's, which is CHZ, was noting a very good bullish momentum. Chili's was up by almost 6.45% over the last 24 hours. On the other hand, privacy token Monero or XMR was up by almost 5% on the daily and 6% on the weekly charts. Tezos was up by almost 4%. Our wave was up by almost 2.79%, while Internet Computer was up by close to 3%. We can see that DeFi tokens like ICP, Aave have performed very well in the last one week. However, privacy tokens are back on track and Monero is taking a lead in terms of the price gains in the market. Moving on, let's see what some of the top news of the day were. As reported by Voice of Crypto, the new global rules by G20 regulators can mitigate crypto investment risks. Can they though? Well, according to the recent reports, the Financial Stability Board or the FSB is set to define stringent new global rules for cryptocurrencies and submit a report to the G20 finance ministers by October. The new rules will have a regulatory and supervisory approach towards stablecoins and other crypto assets. This might or might not be bullish for the market um, if the regulatory concerns are in favor of stablecoins and crypto assets we can expect a bullish momentum by october or else we can expect the same consolidation motion that the crypto market has seen in february the fsb also published a report claiming that uh, claiming the potential risk from crypto assets and how they threaten global financial stability Hmm, doesn't seem like quite a good news for cryptocurrencies, especially at a point when cryptocurrencies are suffering a bad fate in terms of price. The NFT platform Omni was hit by a re-entrancy attack, which led to hackers stealing almost 1.4 million worth of Ethereum tokens. Omni is an NFT financialization protocol, and it fell victim to a re-entrancy exploit which cost over 1300 ethereum equivalent to 1.4 million that said a recent report highlighted that japanese web3 and crypto companies were moving bases to singapore this was largely due to the tax regime of the two countries uh, which might mean that tax regimes are a little more suitable in singapore than japan for quite a few companies that said in a recent interview with CNBC 
Meltem Demerors, who is a representative of CoinShares, said that there are no near-term upside catalysts for Bitcoin. In fact, we are yet to see Bitcoin in a recession. She also added that certainly we can expect more pain ahead for tech stocks, growth, as well as crypto, including the larger cryptocurrency market cap, as well as the altcoins and Bitcoin price. I'll see you tomorrow with another episode of Daily News Wrap by Voice of Crypto.